Up close and personal tonight, our cameras got about as close as anyone can safely get to the edge of this toxic sinkhole. The operation to plug the hole is as daunting as it is expensive. ABC Action News reporter Ryan Raish was there to see workers in action, and he shows us their progress. Tonight, behind the scenes, high atop the mosaic gyp stack on the doorstep of the massive sinkhole that swallowed more than 215 million gallons of toxic water last fall. But look at it now, surrounded by heavy equipment and a team determined to undo the damage. I can tell you, I believe we're going to seal this hole. After countless tests, engineers now believe the hole is a little deeper than the length of a football field. So far, they've pumped in roughly 1,000 truckloads of cement. But no need for actual trucks here. They built their own cement plant on site. It is like a small community up here at the top of this gyp stack. Some 80 people working at any time with one goal in mind, to fill the hole. It's a heavy industrial work site, right? But again, we're very focused on safety. Jeff Golwitzer is the man in charge of the entire operation. Just look at how far they've come since our chopper caught this toxic waterfall still flowing shortly after it opened up. There have been plenty of challenges. We're learning lots of things as we go. But it definitely has not been cheap. Mosaic now expects the cost to fix all of this to balloon to more than 70 million. That covers the 60 holes they intend on drilling to pump in the concrete. All of this rigging, the water pumps, and don't forget about this $10 million filtration system the company built to treat all the nasty water it's recovering. It's, it's a pretty sizable operation. Meanwhile, as crews work nonstop to plug the hole, Mosaic insists it's undergoing what they call an exhaustive study on sinkholes to try to figure out what else can be done to prevent this kind of disaster from ever happening again. In Mulberry, Ryan Raish, ABC Action News. Meanwhile, we've got phone calls in right now to check on the progress being made in well water testing for homes near the Mulberry sinkhole. Whenever we get an update, we'll post it to this special section right here on our website devoted to the Mosaic sinkhole. Just head over to abcactionnews.com slash sinkhole.